Hello everybody, welcome back. Um, we're going to be explaining a quick tutorial of um, Homefront Operation. I'm going to probably clip this together with some of the stuff I did with a team. Um, you want a team of five if you want the most money for your buck. All of you need to have the exact same fit, which I'll show you here. Um, the one I want to go with for today, or to, to show you today, is the, it's the Holy Mission one. Uh, let me see if I can find one. Here it is. Emergency Aid Holy Mission. Basically, the whole idea of this mission is keep this giant space station thing alive. That's basically what you're trying to do. So you would accept this mission or you track it, go to destination with your team of five or like a fleet and you'd go for it. Now, what build would you do? I have two builds, but I'm going to show you this one build today, which is this armor repair three and cap two, meaning I have three remote armor repairs. So you can pause the video here and see if you can get this. It's medium coaxial compact remote armor repair. You want three of those. And then you want two of these medium inductive compact compact remote <laughs> compact cap capacitor transmitter. It's hard. Uh, just just pause and read the ones that you need. So you need three of these, two of these. What you're going to be basically doing during this mission is um, you want these two capacitors. If you have a team of five, you want two capacitors to like chain with people. So like if you have it, you chain with the people on the end. This person chains with these people. This person chains with them. This person with them. And this person with this and the back around. If you have it all chained, all of you can keep a very strong like power amount and everything so you don't ever run out of capacitor. And then you have their three arm repairs. Um, basically, you want one or two of them on this on the main holy site, the big space station. So it heals the space station and then another one for whoever needs help. You're basically healing each other. You're all support ships helping each other. Everyone want, ever all five of you are going to have the same build. This build costs, I think, about 23 million. The last time I uh, checked, it says 20 million in the bottom right on um, 20.5 um so but if you can get up to that mount you can make this back quickly within like 15 to 30 minutes um i think i made i i worked for an hour with this team and we had 130 million by the end of it crazy amounts of money um for a noob like me so those are your main like action items what else do you need well you need some art these things um medium trimark armor pumps um they help just you know survivability so put three of those on this ship. You're going to have to have these two. Well, you don't have to have, but this is going to make it so you survive a lot better. Um, compact sensor boosters. What these things do is make it so that people can't jam you that well. Um, if they jam you, that makes it so you lose targeting of everybody, meaning you can't heal anybody and you can't get anybody or you can't capacitor anybody else. So you want two of these. This will lower your chance of being jammed. You'll still get jammed during the missions. Like I was regularly getting jammed like once every bit not too often though um i noticed that once i was depleted on capacitor on another mission i was jammed a lot more meaning these things were helping me not get jammed like as much so you want these two things um just, you can just pause the video on any of these parts if you want to just read what they are you want um this there's a cat battery thing passive module helps just faster stuff and then there's a few different um uh, armors you can get you can get a pause here if you need um a thermal armor hardener a explosive armor hardener and reactive armor hardener and those are for active ones and then you can get a tungsten compact plates that's one that you can get you can get compact multi-spectrum energized membrane that's another one you can get so these are just for survivability if you get to, well, you don't have to have these activated all the time you just when you start getting targeted pop those on and you'll probably survive and like if you're not surviving because every enemy is targeting you then one of your teammates should use some of their our, uh, remote armor uh, repairs to repair you up a little bit while we you keep repairing the main space station. So that's basically the whole idea of this. I'm gonna now go play some of the how this works. So let's go over a couple of things to set up your UI properly. My UI is a little bit more complex than it needs to be. Really, you do, only things you need to have out is basically what I have in the top right. Your target, your like the general area. You want your watch list. Um, well, what, what you do to make the watch list is you can kind of use create it from the fleet menu and then add all your people on your team to the watch list so you can see their armor, shields, and uh, structure health. And that makes it so you can kind of keep track of everybody all at once. You might want to have your fleet uh, window open, but other than that, that's basically all you need to have open. Everything else is fine. You can just make sure you're targeting people. Um, uh, you want to always just have all your teammates targeted just in case, and you want to have the main station targeted just in case. And you can color stuff however you need from that point. Um, because the only thing you really need to do on this mission is target your teammates and target the holy mission or the whatever you call it, the big, the big space station. And that's basically it. 
So because this mission is kind of boring, even though it does make you a ton of money, I'm just going to explain a little bit what's going to happen and you can just, just see it in the background. So you're going to see that I have all four of my other companion dudes um, targeted and I have the holy mission targeted in the top right. Um, so basically you just need to make sure you're targeting those. You're going to see down below I have my two capacitors activated on two people beside me or at least the people that we have designated to make the chain of capacitor like things that everyone helps each other. And then I do have a repair on somebody else that was being targeted. And you kind of notice that I don't have my sensor things on, so that was my mistake. You do want to have those on because that'll make it so you're, you're jammed less often. So that's where I made a mistake when I was first doing these things, and this is what this video is from. So make sure you turn on those two, uh, um, I think I'm on my, my one people call them spinny bits, but they're like scanner something arrays. <laughs> so yeah, you activate those things, and basically you just sit back and relax while you uh, make sure you heal the actual station itself. Um, I'm not healing the station right now because I was a noob, but yes, you need to heal the station whenever it goes down in health. So watch that health in the holy mission. And you're basically set. That's basically all you have to watch for. One last thing is the actual mission itself. Uh, it's on the left. You can see that it's a 15 minute long mission. So yeah, 15 minutes long. Um, I think you get three payouts um, and basically it totals in close to 20 something million. Um, so you know, you make your money all the way back. Thank you for watching. If you haven't redeemed your 1 million skill points, then go to the pinned comment down below where it is my recruit link, and you can use that there to get yourself 1 million uh, skill points, and it'll help me out if you get Omega status, because then I get some recruit stuff. But yeah, like, thank you, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.